On the robo-business stage, NASA scientists and Fortune 500 executives marvel at the potential of AI. Artificial intelligence for me, in a nutshell, it's magic. Travis Briggs heads RoboGlobal, an index fund that tracks publicly traded robotics and automation companies. What you're seeing right now is a declining cost curve, and these robots have going from being historically, let's say, dumb, to being very, very smart. How smart? Well, this robot quickly wipes the floor with me in checkers. And this one can solve puzzles like the Rubik's Cube. I Am Robotic Swift just became the first robot to be granted a U.S. patent for picking items off the shelves in warehouses. How does its picking speed compare to people? It's about the same right now. So we're, that's one of the things that we've really innovated on is speed. So I think we're the first company to deploy a robot in a setting otherwise meant for a person that's performing at the same level of productivity that a person would hit in terms of speed. With robots increasingly becoming autonomous, there's also a growing need for them to better interact with humans. Take, for example, this Stanford creation, Jack Rabot. It's actually learning through AI to respect my personal space. As it goes forward, humans are also getting more familiar with the robots. They are feeling more comfortable with the robots. So they would act, kind of adopt to each other. iPal robots are really turning up the charm with the ability to entertain the elderly and teach children English, especially in China. Uh, the robots have to get smarter. They have to fit in more naturally with humans' lives. Now, it's going to be quite a while before it can be a full-scale companion to an adult. But for children, for providing additional services for elder care, we think we can do a good enough job. Concern is growing over how the next wave of smart robots will impact jobs. But many roboticists here believe productivity will skyrocket once robots and humans best learn how to work side by side. Mark New, CGTN, Santa Clara, California.